Haha, -ha. my foundation is the wrong color. What a treat to me. I haven't bought makeup in God knows how long, maybe soon. It is Wednesday and today is an exciting day. We're gonna go get an MRI to get some updated images to see how big and or small the tumor in my left breast has become. I've gotten one MRI before we started the whole chemo process and it went well because I took anti-anxiety medicine before I went in the tiny little tube machine. And that's exactly what we're gonna do again today. Hooray for a husband that will drive me to an MRI while I take my anti-anxiety medicine and get really chill. Let's go. So cute. So cute. Okay, we finished the MRI. Can you see the lines? Yep, on my face of where I had to lay my face for 45 minutes. Basically had to lay on my stomach with just tits out okay. for 45 minutes <laughs> while listening to headphones of some distorted pop music. This one was a little tough. It was a little bit more uncomfortable than the last one that I had done, but we did it. It is so stressful because if you even breathe wrong, like the whole thing gets, it's like stress meditation. This is what um she likes to do. Anyone else's dog just like to sit on the boxes that they haven't taken out to recycling yet? Oh, life is so hard. Life is so hard for the goose. Hello. I just took a shower this morning. Go birds. It is Friday. Mamrie and I just recorded an evergreen episode of This Might Get Weird because I have another round of chemo coming up on Wednesday and I might be tired after that. So it's just nice to have secured an episode so I don't have to worry. This, I know it looks like an open diaper. It's not, this is my cold capping gear that I take with me when I go to my chemo treatments. That thing freezes to my head so that my hair stays on my head, which it has been this entire time. I'm, I'm like so pleasantly surprised by it, it's crazy. I'm about to do therapy over Zoom. I go to therapy twice a week, which has been extremely helpful in this situation. I was going to therapy twice a week before all of this happened. So I am really loaded up on the processing my mental health in real time while I'm going through breast cancer treatment, which is yay for me, great. And then after therapy, we're gonna go get a mammogram, which is exciting to get some updated images to see how shrunken the tumor has gotten. Possibly it feels like it's not there anymore. So we need these images to confirm that with these images, I can talk to my doctors about what the next steps are. Try not to get ahead of myself. That's the one thing I've really learned in this is that like you cannot get ahead of yourself. It forces you to be in the present sort of, even though I don't feel like I'm in the present. Last week was incredibly difficult. And so I think I'm still processing some of the trauma from last week. So I feel a little dissociated. The big thing about cancer treatment that I realized consistently is that like you can't really think about the future too much because you have to take it day by day and step by step. I could dream about the idea that like, oh my God, I can get a lumpectomy maybe so soon and then maybe all of this will be over, but that I can't let myself fantasize too much about because that might not be what my doctors want or what's ultimately best in this situation. You just kind of have to go with the flow, which has not been something I've been good at in my life. And this has really kind of forced me into that situation of accepting things on a daily basis as they are, which is very depressing sometimes. This week, I think I felt a little bit of extreme relief that last week I uh, figured out and I'm on an antibiotic that seems to be helping, but I still don't feel like 100% well so that part feels frustrating and I feel a little stuck in a body that still feels a little unreliable. That part is just, I think, a huge part of being sick is just managing being inside of a system that feels unreliable and not freaking the fuck out about that. So it's just a lot of feelings. A lot of feelings. Being sick gives you a lot of feelings. Let's go talk to a therapist about all of these feelings that we're having. Let's go get a mammogram. That's where my boobs go. Right on that tray. Good morning. 
Okay, it's Sunday. We're watching Love is Blind and some football and making pancakes. And someone's ordered himself some McDonald's. Yeah, happy Sunday. Hello, it's still Sunday. Go Birds. We're currently watching them on my laptop. And I'm going to make some tomato soup, which is really exciting. I saw this recipe on Instagram from this woman that I follow that makes really good, delicious looking food. And I've been thinking about it for like two weeks. And today I'm going to make it finally. It's a no cream, creamy tomato soup. Perfect. Let's do it. What is this position? Football. <laughs> this is how he watches sports. <laughs> Oh, look at that. What a jock. First, we're going to cut one onion into chunks, and then I'm going to take some garlic and cut it up. I didn't use as much as she did because sometimes it doesn't agree with my tummy. Then we're going to take about three pounds of tomatoes and cut them into, guess what, chunks. Then we take some basil and we cut it into little ribbons. Then we take a big saucepan, we put our chunks of onions in, and we cook them until they're slightly softer chunks. Then we put our garlic in, we cook that for about a minute until we put in our chunks of tomatoes, all of them. And then our little ribbons of basil. And then about two and a half cups of chicken stock, I think you should refer to her recipe for the details. Then half a can of coconut cream. Then we add some Italian seasoning, some salt and pepper, and you let that all come together and boil until the flavors get loud and proud, and then you turn the heat down and you censor them. And yes, I did buy myself a blender specifically for this recipe. This was the best part though. I've never done this before. She cut up a bunch of bread into a bunch of chunks, seasoned it with some olive oil, some Italian seasoning, salt and pepper, mixed it up, took a baking sheet, put down a layer of shredded cheddar cheese, and then put the chunks of bread on like some delicious witchcraft. The Jets just intercepted a ball with less than two minutes left and they scored and now they're winning over the Eagles and I'm stressed out, but this soup smells delicious. After a while of simmering, we put the soft chunks of our soup into our new blender and it went perfectly. I have clearly a natural ability to adapt to new appliances. Perfect! But my god, this soup turned out beautiful. The Eagles lost, I'm devastated. The only thing that will console me is soup. We took our beautiful witchcraft tray of bread and cheese out of the oven and I literally could not wait to put it on top of the soup, so I sacrificed some of my hand feelings. Oh my god, let's try this soup. The Eagles just lost, I'm devastated. I gotta eat my feelings. Look at this. Oh my God, right? That's amazing. Mm. Ooh. That's so nice and mild. Oh my God, I love it. Oh, that's good. Ooh. Okay, one bird one today. We're in the parking garage. We're going to the surgical doctor appointment this morning. I'm in much better condition than I was the last time I was here. I threw up in their bathroom and I don't think that's gonna happen today, which is thrilling. We're gonna go over the images that we took last week and hopefully get some good news. My Fingers. stools have been solid. Yeah! We're back, baby! Here we go! Helbig and Morgan! Healthier <laughs> than ever! <laughs> Hello, we're back from the doctor's office and we are eating more soup. Soup and bread. That makes everything better. I feel like I'm in my own little olive garden right now. So the doctor's appointment was okay. Good news. Tumor shrinking. Amazing. It's responding to treatment really well. We are killing that mother Nice. Interesting curious news. The ultrasound that I got on Friday showed that I have some curious calcium deposits behind the tumor site, like closer to my chest wall. So out of precaution, we have to go get them biopsied. Try to get them biopsied because they're so close to my chest wall. They don't know if they can successfully biopsy them until I go there and they start trying to poke around, I guess. So we're in a holding pattern, staying the course. We're gonna see how my body responds to this fourth round of chemo. We're hopefully gonna get this biopsy done and get some information on whether these curious calcium deposits are fine and neutral or evil and need to be removed. So it's a strange feeling to be in. You're just sort of like, okay, that wasn't the best news, but it wasn't terrible news. And it's my own impatience that like, I just want to know when I can stop treatment, when I can get a surgery, and when this will all be over. But right now, I can't know that. So, I have to sit in uncertainty once again. Ooh! It's like sitting in a lazy river full of piss. Like, it's ugh, uncomfortable, but like, could be worse, I guess. But we're just gonna eat our soup and eat our bread and continue on with our day because it really wasn't bad news, just some more news. My body's gotta get poked a little bit more. <laughs> Why not? Pile it on. Hello, vlog. It is Tuesday at 4 p.m. and we are gathering all of our things 
It's an article up on my laptop about Taylor Swift and Travis Kelsey. You can tell I'm preparing to go over to Memories and Podcasts, which is exciting because I feel okay-ish today, enough to go over there in person and podcast, which is like, I prefer to do that if I can because I've taken my steroids. Because tomorrow is round four of chemo. So the day before and the day after chemo, you take these steroids, they make you feel lovely they prep you for infusions they make you feel lovely after infusions and then you crash but it works out because tuesday's a recording day for the podcast so i'm feeling lovely on a day that i'd like to leave the house so let's get ready and go podcast by the way i never told you guys this was mamrie's gift that she got me for my birthday speaking of taylor and travis a kelsey jersey how silly and wonderful and um if it weren't for the fact that I recently bought like three new Eagles sweatshirts, I will be wearing that on Sunday football day. What fun, I'm such a jock. I've become such a jock as my body physically crumbles. <laughs> Let's go podcast. <laughs> I've never been caught with a wedgie that bad. I just go up to him, I go, I know you saw me picking my wedgie. Chip said the coast was clear and he could not stop laughing. He like, you could tell you he was like, are it. we supposed to not pretend I didn't see you fisting yourself? <laughs> morning i'm eating oatmeal very quickly and then we are off to round four chemo round four lucky number four let's do it woo, -woo. woo a quiet gentle woo woo, woo. from elliot he's ready we're in it all of our favorite accessories are here i'm feeling like a beautiful human cannonball round four going well my associate hard at work <laughs> this time around, I made myself chocolate chip banana pancakes and I brought them with me because I'm not fucking around anymore. We are finished round four! Whoop 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 hooray! It went really well. We met with the oncologist beforehand. They took out the medication that gives me all the diarrhea. So hopefully this round goes better. We're gonna monitor my body very closely to see how it does in this recovery reaction time. Once we see how it does, we'll be able to figure out what the heck the rest of treatment and surgery looks like. So one day at a time onwards. Elliot, any words of wisdom or thoughts or? Do you smell anything? It smells no. like full weird? farts. Yeah. I thought you farted yeah, right no. before I turned the camera on. Yeah. <laughs> Look at this. Oh, by the way, guys, I mean, I just want to normalize and glamorize cold capping hair because wow, look at this, a golden grimace. Okay, that's the update. I can't stop wearing my Philadelphia Eagles <laughs> paraphernalia. It is the day after chemo infusions number four and I'm feeling pretty good. I'm a little tired, but today in a couple hours, we're gonna go back in for hydration and get some shots. I think I might have to get a shot in my butt again, but this time my husband will be there. So that's gonna add a layer of, is this weird? <laughs> I have some energy today that I know will fade over the next couple days, so I'm trying to set myself up for success. I'm washing my bed sheets. I'm gonna make non-spawn, but I still get a ton of HelloFresh. They do sponsor our podcast. Slow cooker chicken and biscuits that I think I'm gonna start to make now and set it in the slow cooker, go to hydration, come back, nom nom nom. I'm a genius. Look at how well I'm handling everything. I just had therapy. So I'm in a good mental health space right now, talked out some good feelings, some bad feelings, talked out all the feelings, having all the feelings. That's really important, whether you're going through cancer or not going through cancer. And also, um, lost my train of thought. There it went, uh-oh. Choo-choo, left the station, no destination. Oh, and we're gonna watch some reality TV while we cook. That is my happy place. I'm gonna watch some people probably my age involved in some unnecessarily dramatic situations. I'm gonna watch them scream at each other and themselves while I make some nourishing soup. Ooh, healing. We're in hydration and this guy definitely has not been playing a video game. He has yeah. been reading diligently and intelligently. It's like you just opened that book to the beginning pages. Not even random pages. Nope. <laughs> We're getting hydrated. It's a thrilling time. Also, I am going to get a shot in my butt today. And my husband's here now for it. Layered. 
Okay, we're back from hydration. We're making the biscuits that are gonna go on our soup. Elliot went on a Target run to get me ingredients to make another soup because I'm tripling down on soups this round and seeing how that goes for me. Great hydration session. Shout out to Nurse Tom. Gave me a shot in the butt again. Also watches the videos. What's up, dude? Thanks for watching the videos. I am tired today. I'm gonna make myself some comforting ass soup and I'm gonna sit my ass with my soup on the couch and begin round four cocooning. Cocooning has begun. I realize as I'm in my cocoon editing this video, I didn't really um, end it formally. I took a shower, that's so awesome. I haven't taken a shower since Sunday, it is currently Friday. Wow, living the dream. I'm going to begin my endless hours of laying down and watching television but just want to say thank you for watching this video and keeping up with this journey it's been really nice to be able to share this ups and downs um it helps me process and it helps me feel more present in a situation that sometimes feels very surreal thanks for watching guys i will see you next time i pick up this camera but for now i'm gonna lay down and probably watch some adults yell at each other in aggressive and passive aggressive ways we all heal differently maybe i'll read a book i don't know oh <laughs>